Hey guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Match. And today, this video is all about differentiation of trigonometry function. So, uh, a lot of my students has actually asked me about what are some of the tips that I can do in order to solve, okay, this kind of problems that involves trigonometry functions, differentiating trigonometry functions. All right. So, let's say for example, if I were to give you a question, all right. So, if I were to give you this uh, particular trigonometry function, y is equals to tangent square 3x so are you able to find what is the dy dx okay uh, very easily so here are the three simple tips that i'm going to teach you all right so i will sort of like review these three tricks all right as you go along all right so first thing first all right if you want to tackle this uh, trigonometry functions first thing you have to do is to if there is a power all right bring down the power bring down the power so what do i mean by that is that in this case itself there is a power down here all right so first thing you have to do is to bring down the power all right and then you do uh retain all right the trigo so there will be two tangent three x so that's the first step step number two what you will do is to differentiate the trigo so what do i mean by differentiate the trigo so if we were to look at this uh, trigonometry function so this is tangent right so tangent if we were to differentiate tangent is actually secant square all right so it's secant square 3x all right so you just differentiate the trigo and retain the inner portion all right so that's the second step so the last step what do you do you differentiate the inner portion of the trigo function so what do i mean by differentiating the inner portion of the trigo function so the inner portion what i'm referring to is actually this part here all right it's actually this part here so in this case i want to do a differentiation of the inner portion which is in this case 3x all right so if i differentiate 3x i will get 3 all right, so there will be two tangent 3x, secant square 3x, and then a 3 down here. And what do you get down here? There will be ten, 6 tangent square 3x, um, secant square 3x, sorry, 6 tangent 3x, secant square 3x. All right, so here is the answer, all right? Three very simple and easy steps, all right? So first thing first, all right? if there's a power bring down a power so in this case there's a power so you just bring down a power number two differentiate the trigo so when you have a trigo all right down here so this is in the in this case it's tangent 3x if you want to differentiate tangent 3x is secant square 3x and last but not least differentiate the inner portion of the trigo function so in this case the inner portion of the trigo function is actually 3x so i differentiate and here we go this is actually 6 tangent 3x secant square 3x all right, so let's look at the another example. All right, so here's the next example. All right, so let suppose we have this uh, particular question. So first thing we do, we 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 sort of like deal with the power. So so I bring down the three. All right, so that would be equal to three sine um, square. All right, so because the power bring down, you always minus one. All right, so after that, the square root four x minus seven. All right. So always remember this part down here. Okay, after you have bring down this power, do remember to minus one down here. Then the next thing you have to do is to differentiate the trigo. So if you were to differentiate the trigo, what you would get? So you will get sine square root four x minus seven. You will get this uh, cosine uh, square root four uh, x minus seven. All right. And then last but not least, you differentiate the inner portion of the trigo function which is this part here so that will be a uh, differentiation of uh, square root 4x minus 7 okay so this is equals to 3 sine square square root 4x minus 7 cosine square root 4x minus 7 okay 4x minus 7 um, and then this uh, differentiation would just be half of 4x minus 7 to the power of negative half all right because this is to the power half 
and then differentiate the inside that will be 4 okay so we do a cancellation down here this will be 2 and then we bring this down to the denominator what do we get we get um, 3 sine square square root 4x minus 7 cosine square root 4x minus 7 um, times 2 over square root 4x minus 7 okay so to make it much more clearer okay uh, what I will do is do this will becomes actually 6 all right so 3 times 2 will give you 6 and this will be the answer so the answer will be 6 sine square square root 4x minus 7 cosine square root 4x minus 7 over square root 4x minus 7 so as remember first step if there's a power bring down a power and then subtract one okay the next step is to differentiate the trigo so in this case when you differentiate the trigo you get cosine square root 4x minus 7 and last but not least differentiate the inner portion of the trigo function which is in this case here so you differentiate square root 4x minus 7 and you can get this and then you simplify that's about it for today's um, video uh, i hope it makes things clearer after i after i review these three simple tricks on how you actually tackle this uh, differentiation of trigonometry functions i'm bob thank you guys for watching and have a great day ahead